original SR-71 from the beginning of that project to the first flight was about four years. The amazing part is they did the SR-71 back in the day of slide rules and pen and paper calculations. Now with computers today, we could turn the, the design work much faster, and it really becomes a case more of how quick the customer says they need it. In the late 50s, when they were flying the U-2s, they were starting to recognize that the Soviet threat to those aircraft was becoming more severe, and they needed something that flew higher and faster. So it was really answering a need. Since it flew so high and so fast, the tanks got very hot, and what they discovered was conventional jet fuel was going to boil off. So they got with one of the oil companies and came up with special fuel additives, and it's a variation of jet fuel. Normal jet fuel is known as JP-4, there's a special fuel called JP-7 that's a little bit heavier and doesn't boil as quickly as traditional jet fuel. And it's only used for the SR-71 engines.